How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. Now you know I am a big fan of Wago 221 lever nuts. I think they are perfect for DIYers taking on electrical projects around the house and believe it or not they do not sponsor the channel. I'm just a fan and I personally have used them for a couple of years now for all the projects around the house and that's what I have in my standard pack out setup, I have mostly Wago lever nuts to make any of the electrical connections I'll be making. Now they're easy to use. I like the transparent housing. You can actually see what's going on internally. And I believe they make a more consistent, robust connection as compared to wire nuts, especially when bringing together solid and stranded wire like on a light fixture. But with that said, there is one consistent drawback that I get in my comments, which I actually agree with. And I think this might be a flaw in the design. So today I'm going to scratch my own itch I'm gonna actually test out this flaw and see if it's an issue that we should be concerned with so let's jump into it so first let's take a look and see what we're actually dealing with so here is a standard Waga 221 and this is a 413 the 400 series can handle up to 12 gauge wire so it's gonna be the most common that you're using at home now the lever nut itself has a small detent position when you click it down and you probably can't hear that, but it kind of wants to stay seated there flat in the fully closed position. But with very little force, you can start to open that up. Now, once you get to this position, barely open, you do have to overcome the internal spring to get that to go ahead and set in the over-centered position fully open. And then just a little force will snap that back down. Now the problem comes in when we start to put wire within these Wago lever nuts. So here is a 14 gauge wire. You can see we have it fully seated there. We'll go ahead and close that lever. And now we can see we're fully closed, but I can very easily open that lever up to about half of its travel. So that is the concern. When you're tucking these back into the box, the levers can pretty easily open up like that. So the question being, will that compromise our overall connection here of the copper on that bus bar? Is that going to impact that solid connection, thus resulting in additional heat or failure down the road? So this is the main point of contention, and it is not ideal. The question is, does that compromise the holding force of this? So let's go ahead and do a pull test with the wire nut and the levers fully down, and then a pull test with that lever sticking out where it can stay and see if that lessens the amount of weight that can actually be held by this connection. So pretty simple testing setup here. I have a works jaw horse, which is gonna provide a stable platform for me to hang a adjustable weight kettlebell from a three wire, a Wago 221 413, where I'm able to pass that wire through the jaw horse, set the 413 on top, and then apply all of that force through the middle slot on that Wago, which I'll start at 20 pounds of force pulling down, and I'll increment up by two and a half pounds until we get the wire to pull out, and then that will be our failure pull force in the standard condition. I'll repeat that for three different connectors each time, swapping out the connector to a fresh connector and also cutting back the copper so we don't have any damaged copper for each run. Now after those three intervals in the standard connection, we should get a consistent reading for the pullout force and then we'll do the same thing, but we'll just pull that lever out to see if it reduces the overall amount of force needed to pull that wear out and if we have a design issue. So kicking off that standard configuration, the lever fully seated, not pulled out. We'll start off with 20 pounds. Let it sit for about 10 to 15 seconds, and I'll add two and a half pounds here with the ankle weight. Once it passes that at 22.5 pounds, I'll reset it, go to 25 pounds, see if it can hold that. And basically we're gonna go till failure. And then once it fails like that at 27.5 pounds, now we know it can hold 25. That was the last successful interval that it was able to hold. So 25 pounds of pullout force was our trial number one force. Now we're at 22.5 for our second trial. We'll reset to 25. Again, let it hold for 10 to 15 seconds. Go up to 27.5. Okay, so we're consistent. Trial number two also at 25 pounds, that was the successful force that it could hold. 
Now going to trial number three, starting at 20 pounds, going to 22.5, looks like it's gonna hold, and we'll reset that for 25 pounds. And then finally try for 27.5, and again, we have a failure. So the normal setup for the Wago 221, 25 pounds it can hold on this test. Now obviously these results aren't overly accurate, but we should now be able to test this position where that lever is out. Does that reduce the amount of holding strength that the Wago lever nut has? Is this a design flaw and something that should be addressed? So let's do the exact setup, three trials, but now with that lever sticking out. Starting off the first trial, it'll be 20 pounds. See if it holds, looks good, 22.5, but we did have a failure. Now look closer, this is what it looks like with that lever extended. You can see it's extended quite a ways and that's the setup we have for this test. So for round two, we'll trim back that copper, install a new Wago 221, extend out that lever, again, starting at 20 pounds, adding two and a half and it can't hold. So both the first and second trial were only able to hold 20 pounds. Let's go on to trial number three, starting off with 20. And again, we have our third failure. So in that configuration with the lever out, we do only get 20 pounds of holding force as compared to the standard lever down configuration where we got 25. I was a little surprised, honestly, with the results. Now that's not gonna deter me from using Waga lever nuts, but it is something you need to pay attention to when you're placing your neutrals and your hots and your grounds back into the electrical box. But as always, I want to hear your feedback, so jump down in the comments. And if you haven't tried out Wagos and you just want to give them a spin, you can see a link in the description over to our Amazon store. And in the electrical section, we have some small kits with two wire, three wire, and five wire, which is a pretty low barrier of entry to get a few just to test them around on some of your projects to see if they're right for you. Now, if you want to dive deeper on Wago lever nuts and see one of the main applications that really sold me on the lever nut opposed to a wire nut or a wing nut, check out this video right here. And it's a classic example that DIYers get tripped up on. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.